Hi, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing all right. So it's a beautiful Saturday afternoon, almost evening, and we're choosing to start on the garden beds. So we've got the raised garden bed and we've finally got some topsoil to go in it. I think we need a bag or two of compost to go along the top so it's like nice, dark brown. In there. We ain't got the wheelbarrow though, have we? No, but what we do is we'll empty one of the soils in the corner. Yeah. Put the compost in one of the bags. Yeah. And then yeah so yeah we're gonna um put all of the my herbs that i've been waiting and desperate to put in finally in the beds and honestly i can't wait to see them thrive although it's literally the first of october pinch punch first of the month um happy october everybody um but yeah it's first of october so i don't know if herbs and that die off through winter i think they do and then they come back so it's not going to be that happy of a garden bed light. It's not going to look as like green and flourished as I hoped it would in, su in summer um, because it's October now. But they're going to be in. They're going to be finally have place like space to root. Oh my God, I need to sneeze. Oh my God, did you hear that? That was chai moaning. Um, but yeah, they're finally going to have somewhere to root and hopefully like just be happier so that next year when they do come back they can go wild i'm not going to plant any mint or lemon balm i knew mint goes mad and um one of you oh my god i don't i'm sure it was a comment on youtube said that don't plant lemon balm yeah it was i forgot your name i'm so sorry um Vonda. was it Vonda? someone commented saying um, don't plant lemon balm because it goes crazy like mint. So that's going to go in its own plant pot. But everything else, I've even got some herbs that I don't know what they are. But that's what I wanted. I wanted the herb bed to be full on, like, herby. Um, but, oh yeah, so we've now put the baby gate here. So, um, try, we did trialing with it just shut in the kitchen. Um, and every day this week I've come back to something that he's found. Honestly, I do not know how he does it. Like every time on the worktop, he can't reach. And then every day I came back to it, he found something that he could reach that I just don't know how he reached it. Um, so we, we've been shutting this door because we did originally just put the baby gate on. I thought, right. I know he can jump over because he's a big dog, but let's just try him because maybe he doesn't like the door being shut and that's why you choose it. Brad just came over and worked to find him in the living room, but luckily nothing was chewed. Um, but still, I, I don't want to leave him the run of the living room just yet because I don't trust him enough not to chew anything. He's never been a sofa chewer, but I don't want to risk it. He does that attention thing when he nibbles the cushion. Yeah. Um, but... So we've been kept the gate there, but we're just shutting the door. Um, and today we went out for a coffee with my mum. And it was on his own for three and a half hours. Oh, yeah. yeah. And nothing, because he couldn't reach anything on the worktop. There was nothing for him to get at all. He didn't start pulling up the floor. He didn't start chewing at the door. He just was lay. He did have a wee. But only I can a one, huh? only a little one, and I think that's when he gets nervous or excited that he like when we first leave. I don't think he knows what to be like. Oh my god, mum and dad have gone, and I think that's what he does then. But other than that, although the glass of the door is really dirty from him jumping up, it's not chewed anymore. So I think process you know, like progress. Door, I think that from scratch. Yeah, I think it's so. Like we've accepted now that the door needs to be changed and the door frame needs to be changed. That's fine. But we don't want anything else to get ruined. Um, the door, it's just, we can change that. That's easy to change. We can get it sorted. But we were just hoping that obviously nothing else gets ruined. And today we've come back and nothing has. We leave him as Kong. I put him a chicken neck in it. Um, in like, it's, it's a bone Kong. So like it shoves in. So we have to fight to get it out. I sometimes put him a carrot in it. Sometimes put him a chicken sausage in it. 
he gets some biscuits in another con, just so, so, something to like occupy him. Um, but yeah, it's so far so good. We're trialing again because he did go through a stage where he was allowed out in the kitchen. <laughs> and then I took the crate away because he didn't even go in the crate. It's just there. And then um, I took the crate away and um, he chewed the whole door. If you'd, you've probably seen that vlog if you've been here before. Oh, bless you, babe. If you've been on my channel before, but yeah. Um, anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling. We're gonna start the soil. If you're wondering why I might sound a little bit different or I might, <laughs> or I might look a little bit different. My camera's broken. So I need a new one, but they're about nearly 600 pound and it's 600 pound that I don't want to spend on a camera just yet. Really? But I do need one. So I will be getting a camera back. So please bear with me if you don't like this footage or I don't sound as good because there's probably chunks of food in my speakers or whatever they are. But yeah, okay, right, I'm gonna go outside and I'm, I'm gonna get changed though right now because I am in some new slippers that I bought from Primark. Ooh, one minute, just sliding off. Look how cute they are. You see them? Because I can't see if you can see them or not because um, I've just had to hold my phone like that. But yeah, I'm just gonna put some leggings on. And I've got a hat and we're going to get some gardening going. I've put on the most contradicting outfit. So I've got my hat, a jumper and a coat. Some leggings, which I actually think are tights because I've got that mark there. <laughs> so I won't be wearing these out of the house because I think they're meant to be tights. I think they're meant to be feetless tights. But yeah, that and then um, working slops. Hi. Because I love my Birkenstocks. So I went on Facebook Marketplace and typed in topsoil and free and a lady was getting rid of this. So we took quite a few bags. I don't know. We might have too much soil. We might not. We might just have the perfect amount by the looks of it. Um, but yeah, all of this, all of my veggies, not veggies, herbs. Oh, car, oh, my bug house. Oh no, it's bloody squished my lemon balm. Damn it. Um, but yeah, this is my um, bug house that I bought. Well, not that I bought, me and Brad made through lockdown. But yeah, all of these are coming out. We're going to de-weed it a little bit because it's looking beautiful. Um, I'm going to plant this baby. I'm going to finally plant this. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to evacuate you. You're going to have to leave. But yeah, I'm going to plant it and I can finally tray all this up here. Beautiful. That is how you know. <laughs> it's ready to go in to the ground. You're going to struggle getting this off. Yeah, we can, we'll can. we have to just cut them bits or break the pot. And Chai thinks he can walk along there and type right. What's it called? Type. Oh, no. Type rope it. Um, but yeah, like this. Oh my god, oh my god, I can't get this one. This one's pulling the soil up. Oh, Brad! Oh, wow. My god. Yeah, these are ready to go in. Oh my god, look at that, Brad. <laughs> the worm just fell off. Ah. This, quite a few spiders, though, not they? Yeah. Have you noticed? And they're them horrible ones, they're the, like evil looking ones. Yeah, right. Ew, wow. Which I don't love the thought of them being. Should I just pull it off? Um, maybe not pull it off, just. Yeah, just do that. We're gonna have to. So, this is what we're working with. It's empty and it's ready to go. Got some scissors. Yeah. So this is what we're working with now, and that is all of the bags used. So we still basically need the same again. Um, a good amount. Yeah. So we need to go on Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> See if anyone's got any more. I mean, this was ideal because they were bagged up perfect, weren't they? Yeah. 
whereas everywhere else has just got big sandbags. Um, so we need to... And then also some compost to go on top. Um, but I don't know. We'll get there. Right, we're gonna go. I've just messaged someone on Facebook Marketplace to see if, they, well, they have got some, but to see if we can have some off them. We're gonna take these, fill them up. We're also gonna nip to B and Q and get some compost to put on the top. Well, do you want to get some paint as well? Yeah, like a green. Yeah. That might be cool. Do that? Yeah, we need to fill the holes and stuff, don't we, first? Yeah, that and sand it all. You can always just paint around it. We are just at B&Q and we are getting some paint mixed because we're impulsive, clearly, and... This is the colour we're going for. We're back and we're going to see. We bought these, the big ones, three of them. Now, we know that that's not enough. But then we're going to just see how much we do then need and see if we can just get a couple bags of topsoil from someone. So then we can just like not have to get as much topsoil because it'll mean us um, having to scoop it all ourselves when we've been quite lucky with the first bags of topsoil and then this obviously. So this is what we're looking like. We still definitely need some because I want it to come to about here. But we're thinking if we move some soil over, we can get this in and get this wrapped around to make it look in pretty. But yeah, let's do that. So most of the, well, the soil that we had is in there now. So we're thinking we just need another two bags, don't we? Mm, we'll, so. we'll have enough. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then we did buy some paint today. A Velspo one. And we've got it in an olive colour because that is the colour we're going to paint the kitchen. I mentioned it a while ago um, because I've picked some material now for the chair, which isn't in the corner but it's going to be back in the corner um and that is also an olive color um so color um so we're going for green in here because green's my favorite color and we've got lots of plants and i need so to finish in here then i want to get a rug for underneath the table but that'll be okay i'm trying to climb up to it's like pick me up daddy pick me up he loves being carried does anyone know a doberman that likes being carried because we do. <laughs> He's like, pick me up, daddy. Pick me up. And then you literally watch it when he does it. <laughs> He's like, that's better, daddy. That's better. Is that nice? You like being carried, don't you? There's your gym workout. <laughs> I think I don't know why he likes being carried so much. <laughs> Daddy's shooting like a machine gun. 
He just likes it, he just loves being carried. What a strange big dog. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're gonna paint this wall and that wall. So the wall with the fridge on, we want to paint that and that. I've um, got foam rollers and I've got a fiber roller. So that is the plan for this weekend. So we were finishing the garden beds and um, I think that radiator's so. not on right, you know, because it's wonky. What do you mean? Come and stand near. It's wonky. Right, it looks so much more electric green on the camera. Yeah, it looks, like, it looks like pistachio. It looks like pistachio on here, but it is definitely olive yeah. in real life. Look at that. <laughs> so we watched um, Twilight. This is Brad's first time watching Twilight. My millionth, gazillionth time watching Twilight, the first one. He said it wasn't the worst, but it wasn't the best. It's my comfort film. I know most of the words to the first one, especially. Um, pardon? You thought you did. Got a lot wrong. I didn't do many. I held back because I wanted you to hear. I held back from saying the words out loud because I thought I don't want to ruin it because I know it's annoying when people do that. So, we're going to watch, I'm going to make him watch the rest of the Twilight sagas. It moved, it knew you were coming. But yeah, so it's like 12 o'clock now. Is it? Yeah, just gone off past eleven. It's quarter. Quarter to twelve. We've we had a takeaway. We watched Twilight, and that was the rest of our day really. After you've seen us finish the garden, well, not even finish the garden bed, just partly get the soil in. It's gone so fast today, as it's gone faster because I think. Don't you think br brunch this morning feels like a lash I am a bit more? Yeah. Breakfast. It was there for the last. Two and a half hours, though. Mm. Was it for ages? Yeah. So, it feels like a lifetime ago, but yeah, we're going to go to bed now, and I shall see you tomorrow. We're thinking of painting, but we need to do sand areas and make sure everything's ready to be painted so that we can put a bit of splash of colour in this kitchen. But yeah, okay. See you in the morning. See you in the morning. <sighs> Good morning, it's the next day and we have nipped to b &Q to get a few more bags of compost because we're going to finish that today and we're just currently at Costa um, and Chai's got a puff of tea now. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. I'm not wiping. What's this here? It's meant to lick you, that's spongy you've made though. <laughs> Are there tissues? I don't think she put them in, does she? Wow. Wow. <laughs> I got um, an oat milk chai latte. Brad got a... Iced caramel latte. Salted caramel, wasn't it? Iced salted caramel latte. Yeah. We both got a cob each. Huh? Did a cob. I'm back. I got some red sauce, um, but yeah, the plan of attack today is to finish off the garden beds and my nose is looking very blushed and um, start the decorating process in the kitchen. So we're going to sand and fill some holes and possibly do the ceiling or yep. not too sure. That's the plan of attack anyway. We was thinking of going pumpkin picking, but we're going to do that next weekend because the only one pumpkin patch that lets dogs go to is about an hour away from us. All of the ones local to us. Why are these so bloody hard to open? All of the ones, oh, like that. What, what a horrible way to open that. Um, don't let dogs, which I think is weird. I don't get you. You think you understand why they don't let dogs at pumpkin patches, but I don't. I do, I, I, I get it. I don't really get it though because I think not many people eat the pumpkins anyway. 
And if people were that concerned, just rinse it with water. But I don't see it as a hazard, like. And also, I get like if people are afraid of dogs, but like just don't go near, near one someone who's got a dog. Right? I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's because I'm not frightened of dogs that I think that. But then, just keep as long as you keep your dog on the lead. I don't know. I just think it's unfair because I know Chai Pai would love to go and see the pumpkin patch and he's with every bite with this. It's delicious. <laughs> You've had your breakfast. Haven't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dad's had a muffin, which is something I wouldn't have pictured you ordering, you know. <laughs> Uh, you're funny. Oh, you lucky boy. Oh, he got. <laughs> He's very tactical, you know, when he, he takes things. He like goes with his he teeth. He got it. Uh, yeah. He goes with his teeth. He doesn't just go. He goes and takes. I've had a millionaire. Oh, it's an actual square. Usually it comes with a finger. Very yeah, good, yeah. darling. When you get it from the counter, you can get them in the finger. Why would you like this? Mm. I always think it's um, strange when we come here. Like, every time we come here, I always just think about, like, the next... How we've got to the next place. The next. Do you know what I mean? The next step. Yeah, yeah, like, even if it's, like, just, like, a month later. We haven't been for a while, though, have we? But like I've said it before in a vlog where we came when we were in lockdown waiting for the house. Well, oh thinking God, about the house. So... Then we came when we were waiting for the house. Then we came when we had the house. Then we came when we first got Chai. And now we came when he's nearly, well, he's seven and a, um, seven month, three week old. Ten month on the tenth. Ten, ten month on the tenth. How, old, how, how many months is he? 10th of October, it'll be 10 months old. It, is it? Yeah. It's not eight. <laughs> what? 10th of December, it will go. Yeah. 10th of John, 10th of Feb, 10th of March. Oh, do you know what I'm thinking April. about when we add him? I mean in February. We've had him for Yeah, yeah, we've had him for seven months, but he's had him for eight. Eight months on the tenth. Mm. But yeah, yeah, ignore me. But yeah, he's <laughs> gonna be ten months. He's gonna be ten months old. We've got him at eight weeks. But... I'm sure I've told people he's gonna be seven months old, you know. No yeah. Have a not? Oh you might oh, be Sorry. He'd lick you to death, that's about it. Yeah. Hello, yes, you're very nice. <laughs> yes, I know. You look nice. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry about that. You're funny. I wasn't expecting a compliment. That's so funny. Um, but yeah, no, I can't believe. So, like, now we've come when he's nearly 10 months, not seven. I don't know where I grabbed that from. Um, and like not even not even not close, yeah honestly we've had him eight honestly i don't know but yeah we've been i don't know i feel like we've come for a cost of drive through and sat in the car with like every, every, every like, like couple stage. months every couple months of our relationship not the very first few years from lockdown basically but i feel like that's when our life started moving towards I don't know, like obviously getting a house. We talk about more, babies. More adult stuff, isn't it? We're not having a baby yet, by the way, but we talk about babies. Well, I talk about them, and then Bradley talks about how much she don't want one. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm not ready for a baby yet. I love the thought of babies, but no, I like the thought of hot handing them back. It's a big thing having a baby. It's not something you can just like. I'm not bothered. About, I'm, I can't wait to have a pregnancy bump. But I'm just not ready to be um, a human mum yet. I'm quite satisfied with being a doggy mum. 
I don't know. I just, I feel quite full. Like my heart is full with love for chai. And I want to focus on going on holidays and the house and spending money. And stuff like that. Spend, spending money. And stuff like that. But one day we'll have a baby. One day. Just not. Not yet. I want to be ready. I want to be ready. We're just mapping out where we think everything should be. So we're not putting the lemon balm or the mint in the beds. I don't know if it'll survive. We can, yeah, I know this is a thing, but I don't know if it... we can try it. But I know your mum tried basil on the garden and it died. So I'm not sure. Chai thinks he's helping. He's desperate to stand on. <laughs> I'm not going on the mud. Yeah, it's like i'm pooing <laughs> but yeah so we're just lay laying out where we think everything should go so we're going to put the herbs that we eat the most down this end so that when we come out we can grab them like quicker um and then the ones that we don't eat as much up here but i'm not sure stay there chai so we finished the garden i shall show you that actually i don't have i showed it you Floor coming as well. Oh, is it? Yeah, right. Oh, yeah, it's because the floor must not be as level as the. Yeah, it's been warped on and set on right now. So. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I will show you the garden. Are my sandals there? Yeah. I will show you the garden, what we're working with. It's looking beautiful. One minute. So, this is the garden bed obviously and i have got some um little signs inside that i'm gonna go and write this the names on so they look a little bit prettier than these plastic ones um and i'm still planning on getting more just to fill it all up so that in summertime it can go wild okay so don't kill me i did decide to plant the lemon balm i may regret it because i know a lady said she regretted it but i don't mind if it goes quite wild here and I'm just thinking, now I know it goes wild, I'm going to keep an eye on it. And then when it, if it starts to go too, too wild, then I'll just get it in a different pot and I'll dig it up. But for now, it's okay. Um, but yeah, and that's going up there, look. Um, and then in this pot that we bought, I was going to put this, um, I forgot what it's bloody called, hydrangea. But it's a little bit, ignore it, it looks a little bit dead from the summer. Um, but I've decided I'm going to get a different pot for this. And then this is going to be for all of my mints. So we've got like ginger mint, we've got apple mint, we've got classic mint, we've got basil mint, we've got garlic mint. I think I've said that one. Um, we've got loads of different mints and that is going to go all in there. So it's going to be a massive mint because I know they go crazy. Massive mint tub. Hey, what do you think, Chai? And I want it to look overgrown with mint and crazy and when it when it flourishes. So that's the plan. And right now, we are sanding. We are getting these walls ready, sanding off any of the filler, doing a bit of filler, sanding off Chai's willy juice so there's no like little lumps underneath. You see it? Look at that. That's from the... Yes, it's you. It's you. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to get to sanding.
So, hello, yes, I know, good boy. So I'm gonna get to sand in. We're gonna fill, we are gonna paint the door slightly at a later date. We need a new door, but we're gonna make it look a little bit neater by painting it white so that we haven't got like brown popping through. Um, but yeah, we're gonna fill in, sand, and maybe get to painting or maybe just do a bit of white, I'm not sure. Brad, look at you. <laughs> so it's the majority of it is sanded. We're just doing this section um, today and then we have done the ceiling, um, but there's some bit that's needs filling in. This is just sanded stuff. Um, but yeah, it's uh, I've just hoovered as well at like this. So it's gonna be torture. We're just going around now with filler and filling in all of the bits that have sanded or fallen off or yeah so it's all smooth we've got a dog that looks like it could be turning into a dalmatian who thinks he can have my pajama bottoms what do you think you're doing chai what do you think you're doing that is mine that is mine thank you good boy <laughs> whilst brad finishes filling in i'm going to write out the labels for the plants I took pictures, so I'm just gonna copy them and put them on these. Whoa. Oregano or oregano if you're American. This way you'll make you the Brad is finishing off taping everywhere still and I've just swept and um, or hoovered and mopped what I can. Tries like, attention me guys, attention me. Um, but we are currently emptying the kitchen so that we can paint. No. All of this for painting. So you got to like, the prep into it is half of the work yeah. for painting, but It'll be worth it once everything's back to normal. I do hate the mess though, like the when place, things aren't in the home. And then there's also just to keep it real again, a huge pile of wash in there that needs to be done. So yeah. <laughs> so it's much later. I was just gonna look at the clock and it's not there. Everything is emptied out near enough. And we're gonna actually start painting. So we're gonna do the white first before we do the green, just so like the ceiling and that, so it doesn't splatter on it. Um, so we're gonna get to painting some white, and then I don't know what we'll end up getting done today. Um, but the rest of it, obviously, we'll get done tomorrow. But yes, painting time. <laughs> Can you hear Chai crying? Oh, I've got it on me. So we've painted in here um, the white. So we've still got white to paint everywhere. Chai, darling, it's okay. We've, we've put him in the hallway. He's not happy about it. Because he thinks he's missing out on something. 
<laughs> um, but we don't want him to walk in pain. Um, but yeah, so we're cutting everywhere. A few places, shy, enough, sit and wait. We're literally tidying up now. Um, but yeah, we're going to order a McDonald's and we're going to tidy up. And then tomorrow we're going to finish painting. Yeah. But then that's green, going to be green, oh, isn't yeah. it? So, so yeah. Roof, yeah. Um, but yeah. We've got an old towel, right? That brown one outside of you. Um, but yeah, so we've cut in everywhere. Places definitely need another coat in white. And we haven't done all of the walls as of yet. That'll be tomorrow's job. But we've got the bulk of it done, like the hard bits, I would say, done. Because they'll only need another coat. So yeah, it's looking good. Although I'm knackered. You're knackered. Are you knackered? Boring. It is a bit boring. It is boring. Yeah. Better yeah. Than the yeah. Two days later. Yeah, we're gonna um, shower up. We've ordered a McDonald's or order a McDonald's, and then stop this dog from crying. <laughs> oh my god! You'd think that you weren't being looked after, my baby. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then we're gonna eat, and I'm gonna watch the start of Twilight Number Two. Oh my gosh, that is the colour. Chai, this isn't about you right now. It's like, pick me up. Pick me up while you paint, mummy. I'm painting. Mummy's painting. Beautiful. Oh, I love it. The green is a go go. Woohoo! one here guys it's literally monday evening so you're watching it quite current time we haven't finished painting in there yet um but that's going to be in next week's vlog so i'll update you all on um where we get into kitchen bed. yeah up, update you all where we get on the green and putting things back in and oh, getting it back to i've shown them the color in this vlog <laughs> Um, but yes, so I shall see you next Tuesday. Thank you so much for being mm. here and watching to the end. I hope you've enjoyed. Um, let me know what you think to the colour. 
I remember be nice I'm sensitive <laughs> um but yeah no thank you for being here I hope you're all all right happy and healthy because you deserve to be and I shall see you next Tuesday, see you next Tuesday. bye, bye.